today we are going to talk about magnets. Okay, so magnets are very cool. I hope you got excited yesterday when I introduced it in our vocabulary writing. So today we're going to be talking about all about magnets. So let's get started. I have a few magnets here that I wanted to show you. So first we're gonna start talking about a magnet. A magnet has two poles, a north and a south pole. A magnet has two poles, I'm gonna say it again, a north and a south pole. So if you look on this, it has an N for north and an S for south. On my other magnet, it also tells me S for south and N for north. So a magnet has two poles. When you put together opposite poles like a north and a south pole, they pull together, they attract each other. So when you put opposite poles together, they pull together. Opposite means different. They are opposites. Watch how they pull together. It's very cool to see. Let's try that again. Notice how I'm going to show you. Notice how they pull together. So those are the opposites attracting each other, pulling together. Now, if they are the same, if you have a south and a south, or a north and a north, if they're the same, they do not like each other. They push apart. So if they're the same pole, they push apart. Watch. They do not want to come together. And I'm sure you're thinking, Miss Laya, you're faking it. You're pretending that they don't want to come together. Let me show you. So I have my pole here on the blue side, which is south. And I'm gonna pull the one that is the same. Did you see that? It pulled away. Watch again. It doesn't even wanna look at it. It turned it away. Let me try this one. See, do you see it pushing it away? It's really, really cool how it does that. Magnets are super fun. Watch, I learned this earlier when I was playing with it. I'm controlling it with this other magnet. So as you can see, when they are the same, they do not want to be together and they're going to pull apart by themselves. It's so cool how magnets work. Magnets will attract things that are made of iron, cobalt, or nickel. These things are called magnetic metals. So if something is magnetic, it sticks to the magnet. So for example, but watch. Do you see how it is attracted to it because it's magnetic? So some things are attracted to magnets and they will stick to them. They will stick together. Some things are not attracted to a magnet. These things are called non-magnetic materials. So some things like a potato, it wouldn't be attracted to a magnet. It would not stick together. They would not pull together. So that is called non-magnetic. This is called a bar magnet. This is called a horseshoe magnet. It is shaped like a U, a horseshoe magnet and a bar magnet. So now we're gonna go through some things that are magnetic and 
non-magnetic. So first up, we are gonna try these staples. We are gonna see if these staples are magnetic or non-magnetic. What do you think? Let's see if you're right. Magnetic or non-magnetic? Magnetic, very good. What about this gnome? Do you think this gnome is gonna be magnetic? Let's see. Was he magnetic? No, he wasn't magnetic. What about a penny? Do you think a penny is magnetic? Hmm. Let's see. Is it magnetic? It is non-magnetic. And earlier we worked with these scissors. Are these scissors magnetic? They are. The magnet's not very strong, but you can tell that it's pulling the scissors. What about a paper? Is a paper magnetic? It is non-magnetic. Let's try this clip. Do you think this clip is magnetic or non-magnetic? Let's see if you're right. Magnetic? It's magnetic. It sticks. It's attracted to the magnet. Okay, now let's try a pencil. Do you think a pencil is magnetic? Let's find out. Is it magnetic? No, it's not magnetic. It is non-magnetic. Okay, last thing. I have this tin of pumpkin spice rolled wafers. Let's see if the lid is magnetic. What do you think? Let's see if you're right. Is it magnetic? Yes, it's magnetic. Awesome job finding out what is magnetic and non-magnetic. All right, now that we went through all these things, I wanna show you something cool. Magnets are everywhere. And little do you know, you probably have some magnets in your house. For example, I went searching in my house and I found my eraser. My eraser is magnetic. It is attracted to magnets. Magnets attract it. My eraser also sticks to my whiteboard so my whiteboard is magnetic very cool i also found these other magnets that i use on my refrigerator for my students work if they make me art i like to put it on my refrigerator so i stick it with these little circle magnets and my circle magnets also would stick to my whiteboard and they stick to my refrigerator i have this decorative magnet and it looks like a little plant and if you look on the back, it has a small magnet. That also sticks to my whiteboard and my refrigerator. So I found those magnets in my house. I wonder, can you find a magnet in your house? So that's your job today. I want you to look and find magnets in your house. And once you do, I want you to explore and see if things are magnetic or non-magnetic and what you find. You can take a picture of yourself with your magnets and send it to your teacher because I am super excited to see, my, to see my students with their magnets and I'm sure your teachers will be super excited to see you with the magnets that you find at home. And if you want to send a picture of something you found that was magnetic, that would be super cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our magnetic craft and I hope you learned something new with our bar magnets and our horseshoe magnets and our home magnets. Have a good day, everyone. See you tomorrow.